everyone and welcome to Book Bug. I hope you're all well. We're feeling well today, aren't we? Are we ready to have some fun? Oh, are we? But what's it? Yes, we'll tell everybody who we are just in case they're new and they've not seen us before. So my name is Kirsty. Can you shout me a great big hello, Kirsty? Ready? Oh, that was a really good one. And should we shout a great big hello? This is Busby, the Book Bug. Should we say hello, Busby? Yeah? Hello, Busby. Hello, and you can wave hello to all the boys and girls watching at home. There they are. Oh, super. We're really glad that you could come and play today. But before we can do any playing, we've got to sing our hello song so that everybody feels lovely and welcome to today's session. So you're going to need some wave hello hands for that. Have you got yours? Have you? Oh, there they are. Fantastic. Did you bring your singing voice with you? Oh, you did a very fine voice today. This bodes well. Excellent stuff. So we're going to take our wave hello hands and we're going to turn them into patting our lap hands like this. One, two, three, four. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Now we clap hands, ready? I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. Yay! Oh, we're so glad you could come and play today. We really are. We were excited about it today. We're going to have a lot of fun. And first thing we're going to do is find out who's in our big bug bag today. You ready to sing the song with me? Who have I got in my bag today, my bag today, my bag today? Who have I got in my bag today? Look and see. What's this? It's a little bird, isn't it? It's a little crow. Or as we would say in Scotland, speaking in Scots, a wee crow. Shall we sing your Scottish song? Yeah? Do you want to sit up on the wall then? You sit up there and we'll sing your song. And in fact, we're gonna sing and we're gonna sign today's song. So are you ready with your signing hands? Yeah, here we go. We're gonna do three crows. So two wee taps of your beak, three crows sat upon a Okay, if you manage to get a couple of the signs, that would be absolutely brilliant, okay? And you'll get plenty of chances because there's a few verses, okay? You ready? Here we go. Three crows sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall. Three crows sat upon a wall on a cold and frosty morning. So that's how we say cold. Oh, it's really cold and icy, frosty morning. Okay, so that was the first crow. But what's that second crow doing? Hmm. In fact, no, we need to do the first crow, don't we? Because we're just talking about the three crows. Oh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? The first crow. You ready? The first crow was greeting for his mole. Greeting for his mole. Greeting for his mole. The first crow was greeting for his ma on a cold and frosty morning. He was crying for his mum. So that's three fingers and two taps on your palm for mum. He was crying for his mum. Oh, but now what was the second crow doing? Let's find out, shall we? The second crow fell down and broke his jaw. Fell down and broke his jaw. Fell down and broke his jaw. The second crow fell down and broke his jaw on a cold and frosty morning. He fell down and broke his jaw. Ah, oh, poor love. That wasn't you, was it? No, you don't. Okay. Thank goodness for that. So, what's that third crow up to? Mm. The third crow couldn't flee at all. He couldn't flee at all. He couldn't flee at all. The third crow. He couldn't flee at all on a cold and frosty morning. Couldn't fly. He couldn't fly. Oh, well, that's not very good for a crow, is it? Hmm. Now, hang on. Wasn't there supposed to be a fourth crow in this song? So no. 
Mm, let's find out where that fourth craw's got to. The fourth craw, he was not there at all. He was not there at all. He was not there at all. The fourth craw, he was not there at all. On a cold and frosty morning. And that's Oh, we can about the cross, we can about the cross, we can about the cross, and that's oh, we can about the cross on a cold and frosty morning. Yep, that's all we know about the cross. There you go. That was a beautiful signing. Well done. Really good job. Should we see who else is in the bag today? Hmm? Should we have a look? I see. You're going to stay up there and watch? Okie dokie. Who have I got in my bag today? My bag today. My bag today. Who have I got in my bag today? Look and see. <gasps> it's our friend, the spider. And I'm going to do a little poem about my friend the spider and you can do it too. Okay, okay, so what you can do is make a tickly spider in your little one's hands, okay? Or on your own and they can watch. I have a little spider. I'm very fond of him. He crawls up to my shoulder and right round to my chin. He climbs up on my nose and hops up on my head and when he's very sleepy he crawls back down to bed there we go we tickles back in a hand should we try it on the other hand yeah well, it's always good to tickle both the hands isn't it so let's put our little friend the spider in the other hand i have a little spider i'm very fond of him he crawls up to my shoulder and right round to my chin he climbs up on my nose and hops up on my head. And when he's very sleepy, he curls back down to bed. Can you feel the wee tickles? Can you feel the tickly spiders? <laughs> oh, it feels lovely, doesn't it? You sit up there, spider. There we go. Because I think there's one more friend hiding in the bag today. Let's see who it is. Who have I got in my bag today? My bag today, my bag today. Who have I got in my bag today? Lick and see. Oh my goodness. Hello, you're far from home, aren't you? What's this, boys and girls? You know? That's right, it's a penguin. You have come a long way to visit, haven't you? Have you? What, Wants to hear his penguin ring. Well, you've come such a very long way. I think we'll have to oblige, won't we? So you get your little penguins sitting up on your lap. Here we go, because we're going to do some penguin waddling and then some jumping in for a swim. Okay. I'm a little penguin, black and white. I waddle to the left and I waddle to the right. I cannot fly, but I can swim, so I waddle to the water and I jump right in. Yay! So you can waddle your wee ones to this side and then have a great big wee jump. Okay, dogs. But if you don't want to do that, you could do some actions, couldn't you? Here we go, because we could pretend to be little penguins if you're a bigger boy or girl, can you? And we'll do it again, right? I'm a little penguin, black and white. I waddle to the left and I waddle to the right. I cannot fly, but I can swim. So I waddle to the water and I jump right in. Way! That was a good splashy one, wasn't it? Oh, because penguins are very good at swimming. Even though you look a bit silly waddling on the ice, you're very, very good at swimming. Well, then what are we going to do? Ooh. Do you know all that thought of splashing and swimming's made me feel a bit shivery? Should we do a shivery rhyme? We do cross cross, line line. That's a good idea, isn't it? So, big boys and girls sitting up on your lap and you can cross them like that. Little ones, cuddle them in towards you. Here we go. And you need your tickly fingers grown up. So you got them. Oh, super duper. And it goes like this. Cross, cross, line, 
line something's crawling up your spine a cool breeze a tight squeeze and now we've got the cheese <laughs> are you feeling all full of the shivers yeah should we go again okay you ready cross cross line line something's crawling up your spine a cool breeze a tight squeeze and now we've got the shimmies oh oh my goodness you need to sit over there while you've got all your shimmies there you go well you take a wee minute because actually i'm going to ask the boys and girls for a bit of help because you're all very very clever and i know you're going to be able to help me with this because I've got too many toys. I think this might be a problem that a lot of houses have got, but I've got way too many toys and I was trying to tidy them up and sort them all out. So you guys sit down there just now. Come on, that's it. You guys sit there because I've got these toys here. So I've got this one and I've got this one and I've got this one because apparently I need three lines and I absolutely do. Definitely. Totally justifiable purchases. <laughs> But I've got all these toys and I was trying to sort them out in size and I thought you guys are really clever and you'll be able to help me. So, hang on. So which one of these is the biggest? Which one? Is it this one? No? No, right, not this one, okay. Is it this one? No. Right, so it's this one then. This one's the biggest, yeah? Oh, good, right, thank you. Okay, so this one's big, right? There you go, you sit there. Right, so which which one's small? Which one's small? This one? No. Oh, all right. I can hear you shouting. My goodness. So not this one. So is it this one? Right. So this one's small. So does that mean that this one's medium then? Ah, uh -huh. oh, I've got it. I've got it because this one is bigger than the small one, but it's smaller than the big one. So we've got big, medium, and small. I know a song about that. That's going to surprise you, doesn't it? I know a song about big, medium and small. So we could sing it. So you could point at the toys that are big, medium and small. Or you could make big hands, medium hands and teeny small hands. Okay, so you choose what you want to do. All right. And we'll sing our song. Now for the grown-ups who might not have heard this one before, there's precisely four words. Big, medium, small and. And you'll recognise the tune instantly. Okay. <laughs> and it goes like this. Big, medium and small, medium, small. Big, medium and small, medium, small and big and medium and small. Big and medium and small, medium, small. I think I've, I think I've got it now. I yeah, I think I've got it back. We'll sing it one more time just to make absolutely sure. And I'll tell you what, this time I'll do big hands and medium hands and small hands as well. You ready? Here we go. Big, medium and small, medium, small. Big, medium and small, medium, small. And big and medium and small. Big and medium and small. Medium, small. Yeah, I've, I think I've got it now. I think, I, I think I'm going to be able to manage tidying up the rest of the toys now. Oh, but thank you very much for helping my lovely collection of lions. Oh, right, you guys going to... You guys gonna sit down there with the rest of the toys? There we go, that's it. And we'll have a big tidy up later on. Oh, so thank you so much for your help, boys and girls. That was really, really useful. You're all so clever. I'm glad I've got you here to help me. Oh, I tell you what, seeing as you worked really hard, should we go for a horsey ride for a wee treat? Yeah, let's do that. So saddle up, little ones, onto a lap. And we're gonna do a wee song called This Is The Way The Ladies Ride. So, I'm sure there are some very, very elegant ladies watching. There are none sitting on this couch, but I'm sure there's some very elegant ladies watching at home. <laughs> so we're gonna sit up very straight, and very prim and proper, like the lovely elegant ladies do. So this is the way the ladies ride. And it's a little gentle trot, 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 trot. Now the gentlemen, much as we love you, you're a little bit of a rougher bunch. So they're a bit more gallopy trots already. We're gonna go for a bigger one this time. This is the way the gentlemen write. Gallopy trot, gallopy trot, gallopy, gallopy, gallopy trot. And now the children. 
There's nothing genteel about the children, is there? My goodness, you're just going to go crazy and gallop as fast as you like, as fast as appropriate for your wee ones, okay? So this is the way the children ride. Gallopy, 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 wee! And you can even go for a great big jump if we finish. You want to go again? Yeah? Okay, we're going to go again. So ready? We're going to start off with little gallops. This is the way the ladies ride. Trot, 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 trot. And this is the way the gentlemen ride. Gallopy trot, gallopy trot, gallopy, gallopy, gallopy trot. And are you ready for this? This is the way the children ride. Gallopy, 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 gallopy. Oh, oh, I think we've definitely got some champion jockeys out there watching. That was brilliant galloping, wasn't it? Oh, fantastic stuff. Can you sit here with a minute, my darling? And I'm going to get the lycra because we're going to play with our lycra. us over to lovely helper thank you lovely helper <laughs> here we go oh zipper stuff so oh that looks a bit empty though who wants to go for a bounce do you want to go for a bounce busby you sit there there we go how about we do shiggle shiggle wee yeah you ready a big shaky shake and then wee up into the sky have you got a soft toy you can bounce yeah now again if you don't worry if you don't have a blanket or a towel or anything to shake because you can just shuggle and shake your wee ones as much as is appropriate for how big they are and give them a wee wee into the sky so you can play just the same, okay? Shuggle, 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 wee! Woo! Oh, was that a big bounce? You ready to go again? Shuggle, 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 wee! Woo! Oh, we bumped the bounce really high there. Ready? Go, ready? One more. And we'll go, shiggle, 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 whee! Whee! <laughs> was that fun? Oh, what did I decide I was doing? Hang on, I've got it written down. There we go, that's what I was doing. Oh, my memory's going. We're going to do ring and ring of roses. So if you don't have anything to shake, you can just circle on wee one's tummies or on their hand or their head, whatever they like. Okie dokes, and play and shiggle along. And if you've got your blanket, your little ones can either sit with you and rub around in circles on the top, or you can hide them underneath a bit like when we do peekaboo. So it's entirely up to you which way you want to play. It just depends. Some of your wee ones don't like hiding underneath, okay dogs? So help her continue to hold it up, please. <laughs> don't drop it, thank you. There we go. Slack it off, he's slacking off on the job. Here we go, right. So ready? So your wee ones, if you're lying underneath, can look at the patterns, pull it tighter than that love. Thank you. Okay, so they can look up at the pattern while you make it, okay? Ring a ring a rosies, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Down at the bottom of the deep blue sea, catching fishies for my tea. A one, a two, a three. So you can play hiding underneath or you can have them holding on with you, okay? And you can make a pattern. Do you know, this would work even really well with an opened up plastic carrier bag, something crinkly that would make a sound when you run around on it. So anything like that is a good sensory um, play item, okay? Ring a ring a rosies, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. You ready? You gonna pat the water and make it splash? Down at the bottom of the deep blue sea, catching fishies for my tea. A one, a two, a three. Whee! So which one do you like? What do you like better? Which you like better? Sitting up or going underneath? Do you want to hide underneath? Okay, we'll do one more time. You go and hide underneath. Ready? Here we go. Ring a ring a rosies, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Down at the bottom of the deep blue sea, catching the she's for my tea. A one, a two, a three. So we play peekaboo. Yeah. Oh, you're under there anyway. We might as well. So you hide and we'll come and find you. You ready? 
We are the children, we are you. We are the children. Big Abu! Hello, you! Hello, I found you! Hello! Oh, dear. Must be being nice and quiet today. Some of the boys and girls giggle too much doing this. It's a terrible giveaway. You've got to stay quiet so we don't know where you are so we can come and find you and give you a surprise. You ready to go again? We are the children. We are you. We are the children. Big Abu! I see you! Hello! Hello! <laughs> we go one more time. Right, one more. You hide! You hide underneath that, Nico! Hey, go, go, go underneath! I can still see you! Go, go, go! That's the stuff. Well done. I'll come and find you now. We are the children. We are you. We are the children. Good fun, yeah. You ready for a story now? Okie dokie. You sit over there so you can see, and I'll get today's story, which is quite a splashy story today. In fact, it's called Eric Makes a Splash, and it's by Emily McKenzie. And this was one of the nominees for the 2019 Book Bug Picture Book Prize, and it's published by Bloomsbury Publishing. Wait till you see this story. This is a great one. There we go. Oh, it out, it. Eric was a worrier. He worried about noises in the night. He worried about finding spiders in his welly boots. Ah. He worried about getting lost at the park. But nothing worried Eric more than trying new things. No thanks, he doesn't want to hold a frog. Mm, he's not very sure about climbing that tree. And he doesn't want to feed the horses. Luckily, Eric had a brave and kind best friend who loved to help him feel brave too. Flora was fearless and Eric thought she was just wonderful. On Monday, Flora wanted to splash in muddy puddles, but Eric worried about getting his boots dirty. Why don't you pretend you're a piglet rolling in mud or a hippo having your bath? suggested Flora. Soon they were sploshing and splashing together. Oh, that does look fun, doesn't it? On Tuesday, Eric worried that he wouldn't like the new sandwich filling his mum had put in his packed lunch. Why don't you pretend you're a bear, Eric, said Flora. Bears love honey and they are big, strong and very fuzzy wuzzy. I bet it tastes yummy. Hmm, Eric wasn't sure, but he had a bite. And Flora was right. Honey was delicious. On Wednesday, Eric worried that the very tall climbing frame was making his knees wobbly. Why don't you pretend you're a spider on a giant sticky web, said Flora. Then you won't fall off. And on Thursday, Eric was worried about the scary dark. Let's pretend we're owls, Eric, said Flora. They fly at night all the time. Together, they hooted and twipped wood loudly. But on Friday, something arrived in the post that made Eric very worried indeed. It was an invitation to a swimming party. Dear Eric, you are invited to Desmond and Raymond's swimming party, 2 p.m. Saturday, soggy towel swimming pool. See you there, don't forget your towel. This sent Eric into a worrying whirl. What if his fur got wet? What if water went in his eyes? What if he sank to the bottom of the pool? But why don't we go shopping and buy you some new swimming trunks, said Flora. But even Eric's favourite pair 
didn't make him feel any better. That is a lot of swimming trunks. Ooh. <gasps> Have you got this book at home? Which one's your favourite pair? Ooh, I can, oh, I think I think the red check one. It's got to be red for me, isn't it? I think the red check one. They're fab. <gasps> Ta-da! Said Flora. Look, a swimming cap with a dinosaur on it. This will keep your fur dry. And how about these goggles? But Eric still worried until... Oh. oh, now we're getting somewhere, said Eric with a smile. Eric, how many rings, rubber rings have you got on there? Oh my goodness, he's got three, one, two, three rubber rings around his tummy and armbands on. I think you've taken that just a little bit too far, Eric, my goodness. Finally, they were off to the pool. Oh, splash, splish, splash, splosh. Everyone jumped in, but Eric just sat on the side. Why don't you pretend you're a dolphin or a seal or a shark or a turtle, said Flora. They're all great at swimming. But this time, the idea of pretending to be something else didn't make Eric feel braver. He dipped one toe in the water, then he heard Flora say, You can do it, Eric! So he took a very deep, brave breath and... <gasps> splash! He was in the water and he felt very proud of himself until... Sam slipped in a puddle. Whoa! And knocked Desmond, ah, who accidentally pushed Raymond in. Raymond bounced on Betty, who fell backwards into the boat. Susie went soaring through the air, pop, and everybody went quiet. But something amazing was happening. Look, Flora, Clark cried Eric, I'm swimming all by myself. Eric had never felt braver in his life. But Flora didn't answer because Flora was standing at the top of a very, very, very tall slide, looking very, very, very worried. Oh, Flora! Luckily, Eric knew just what to do. Why don't we pretend to be penguins? Ah! Penguins, they're great at that, aren't they? Why do we pretend to be penguins, he said. They are very good at sliding. Flora smiled. You know what, Eric? I think that is a very, very good idea. So after a few very deep, very brave breaths, <gasps> Flora and Eric held hands, counted to three. One, two, three, and... Swish, splish, splash! They made it all the way to the bottom together because best friends are always there when you need them, smiled Eric. Wow! I just love Eric and his friend Flora. He was very brave, wasn't he? Are you very brave? Yeah? I bet you are. And see, when you're not, have you got a bestest friend who helps you feel brave? Oh, that's wonderful. We've all got to be very brave at the moment and we've all got to be good friends and look after each other. And that was the absolutely wonderful Eric Makes a Splash by Emily McKenzie and published by Bloomsbury. Oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? I love that one. I could read that one again and again and again. I just love it. But oh, I'm in a bit of a splashy mood now. Hmm, are you in a splashy mood? We could do some splashing, couldn't we? So, you might be organised and have a wee splash mat handy. Now, you've probably seen the great big ones that I do with the vacuum bags that you um, fill with food colouring or and, and water or whatever you want, foils and glitters and the like, um, and you can seal them. So I've got great big ones that I use on the floor, or you can make yourself a wee small one like this. So that's just a big freezer bag that I've sealed up and taped to a tray and that's a bit of uh, washing up liquid and some water which is a nice thing to splash because it goes lovely and bubbly. So if you're on the floor or you're on a tray you can grab your splashy mat and we're gonna do some splashy songs. Okay so you remember we've done Shake Out the Sillies, 
itchy nose. That always happens, like an itchy nose. We've done shake out the sillies with the lycra. We're going to do splashing out the sillies with our splash mats. Okay, so you ready to pat and splash? And I should say, if you're feeling really brave and you don't have any freezer bags or anything like that, just fill a really shallow baking tray with just a tiny bit of water, just enough to put a bit in a big towel and you can just let your little ones get wet and have a splash because that's lovely too, to actually let them get wet and splashy and messy. Okay, no, but we're not going to get too messy today, are we, Busby? No, we're going to... We're going to splash, splash, splash out the sillies. We're going to splash, splash, splash out the sillies. We're going to splash, splash, splash out the sillies. And wibble the wobbles away. Now another cool thing you can do if you're working on a tray like this is you can have a bit of paper underneath with like a smiley face and a picture on it because then when they splash and swish, especially if it's something opaque, they can see the picture underneath and that makes it really, really fun too. Here's another neat idea. So the other thing we can do is we can do some lovely rhyming words like swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swish, swish, swash. We could do splishy, splashy, splishy, splashy, splish, splash, splash. Yeah, can you make lots of bubbles? Can you see them? Can you see all these bubbles? Yeah, we're making loads. We could say bubble, 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 pop, pop, pop. And you can pop the bubbles, you ready? Bubble, 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 pop, pop, pop. Yay, just like that. Or we could, oh, we could sing a bath time song. Can we? We can sing a bath time song. So let's splash in the bath. Well, we pretend we're in the bath and we'll sing splish, splash, splush. We're all having a wash. Splish, splush, splash. We're all having a bath. Rub a dub dub. Getting washed in the tub. Now the washing's done. Bath time's just for fun. Yay! You can splish and splash. Oh, that was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it's good fun to splish and splash. See, and this way we don't make too much mess while we're doing it. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, let's tidy that away. Because I think it's about time that we said bye-bye to everybody, isn't it? So, so, shall our uh, teeth in. So, shall we have a cuddly quiet song before we say bye-bye? Yeah, should we do that? Okie dokie. So you cuddle into your big people. And we'll have a wee lullaby. Okay, then. This one's called I've Read You a Story. I've read you a story. I'll sing you a song. Your eyelids are heavy, sleep won't be long. Night time has fallen, the stars twinkle bright. Sleep soundly, my darling, until morning light. Should we go for it one more time? I've read you a story. I'll sing you a song. Your eyelids are heavy. Sleep won't be long. Night time has fallen. The stars twinkle bright. Sleep soundly, my darling. Until morning light. And now it really is time to say bye bye to all our friends. We're going to have to sing the bye bye song and let them go. So, how about you show us some wave bye bye hands? Just like that. Perfect. And we're going to turn them into patting our lap hands like this. Ready? One, two, three, four. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you could come. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you could come. Ready to clap your hands in? I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. Yay! Thank you so much for coming today. I hope you had lots of fun. We did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And if you enjoy the sessions, the best way to keep up to date with when there's a new one is to click that subscribe button and you'll get a message when there's a new video to watch together. Whatever you're doing today, have loads and loads of fun and we'll see you again soon.